Hello everyone, uh, so this is a short video on uh, using the ECOS uh, KSTARS uh, mount model tool. So uh, a bit of background first, uh, the mount model tool is uh, something that uh, um, if a mount is, is, is capable of refining its model using sync commands then the mount model tool will work. In my case, I'm using uh, uh, OnStep. So let us uh, connect to OnStep. Okay, and uh, so this is the, uh, the main screen and then there is uh, an align tab here. I have to select the number of, of stars first that I need to align to because in OnStep, the alignment um, the alignment process is uh, is active only uh, when you start the align process until the last star in the number of stars that you select are done and after that the sync would not refine the model so I'll use uh, say three stars and then I'll say start the align as you can see here I'm on the the maximum stars is nine um, you, if you're using the STM32, you should see six here. You, there is a way to increase it to nine, but I'll not go into that. Uh, I'm, I'm at current star one, and I have three stars to go. And these are the uh, the errors, uh, the, the errors in uh, the polar alignment, altitude, and azimuth. So, um, if I go to the um, align tab. And then in capture and solve, I have to make it sync. Okay, ha that that's the way it should be, uh, not slew to target because slew to target does multiple syncs per alignment point, and you don't want that in the in the mount model. And here is here is the mount model tool. Okay, and you can select the number of stars. So let's say, for example, I have three stars, and instead of selecting them manually, I can generate the number of alignment points, and it would. Uh, you know show me that these are the three stars but where are these stars i mean let's let's map them so if i click on this uh, uh, map on the grid uh, it will uh, tell me that here is one star here is another and here's another as you can see um, this falls very close to that uh, reddish brownish color which is my obstructions and so there are houses and trees here so uh, um, auto, auto choosing the the number of, of stars would not work and and it, it can even it's handy if you if you have a clear horizon uh, let us clear this and if i select six stars for example and then tell it generate them so these are the stars again uh, let us put them on the map it's already it's already the grid here is is uh, is marked so let's see what uh, in the sky how they look so one is here one is here one is here Th so three on each side of the uh, of the meridian um, again this one is obstructed this one is obstructed this one is obstructed this one is near obstruction this one is obstructed so only one so this wouldn't work for me because of the many obstructions like the high tree is here and the house is here okay so I'll go back again into the mount model tool and then clear all this. And what I could do is that I'll, I'll select, uh, I can select three stars. Uh, let us, and here is, this is the tedious part, is that I need to find three stars that are unobstructed and fairly uh, far apart. So uh, uh, Castor and Pollux uh, and uh, what is this one? That's Tanya. Okay. Uh, so one, two, and Minkalinan. So I can say uh, name star only, and then I'll select uh, Castor. And uh, Minkalinan. Tanya, doesn't matter if it's the one or the other, they are close by. So these are the three, the three stars, and here are the alignment points that I'll be using. And I can sort them by uh, proximity to, to the mount. Uh, 
so um, that's it so I could I could just say start here and as you can see the mount will keep okay we'll, we'll put this to the side here and then see what the what happens so the mount will slew from its home position which is the uh, celestial pole of your hemisphere and then goes to the first alignment point okay and then uh, we'll wait till, till the slew is complete you will hear a beep that's it and then it will take a it will take a photo okay this is a simulated photo okay because uh, it's in the more it's in uh, daytime and then it will it will take do a plate solving so it will plate solve and then move to the next star let us see what if it, if it did that yes okay it already moved to the to the second star and then that's the end of the slew we have the mount arrived at the target location and then it will take the the image okay and then started the plate solving so wh what the plate solving here does is that it, it avoids us having to go and manually uh, center the star in the viewfinder or in an eyepiece so it's a great time saver here so this this plate solving is taking too long i find that this area it's close to the milky way but here it is so it, it did it did uh, uh, do that um, plate solve and then sync on, the, on that plate solve and then what it will do is that it will move to the last star okay and then do the same thing okay so it will as you can see here so it says capturing the image and there is the image and then it says the mount model tool has finished so basically I'm aligned and these are the arrows of course this is simulated so it's uh, it's better than real life uh, so you have the uh, first point second point third point and they're very close to the green thing which is uh, I think is about 30 30 arc seconds okay so have uh, 30 arc seconds so now uh, the alignment has uh, is finished and if I so I don't need this anymore if I go to the yeah here it is so the align tab you can see that I have no error in the altitude but there's like 32 arc seconds by the way this this says arc minutes this is a, bu a display bug in uh, in the indie driver for uh, uh, on step it's not it, it, this is arc seconds not arc arc minutes so uh, it says 32 and 32 is the resolution uh, that howard has determined depending on what uh, the microcontroller uh, speed is so we are we're in the middle here because of the stm32 um, um, so I could do another round, you know, try to refine it with uh, the refine tool, the new tool from the uh, uh, in the Android app, uh, or uh, I could just leave it at that. This is, you know, below below, say, two arc minutes is is acceptable, especially if you're guiding. If you're guiding, it's not it's not an issue. Uh, so um, after that, I I can go into the um, taking pictures and and do you know the the, the regular uh, astrophotography or the observation uh, uh, that you that you want so I just wanted to show that uh, tool quickly it uh, it works for mounts that refine their uh, alignment wha when sync so for one step this works but you have to start an alignment on, on a certain number of stars and then um, uh, after the, the that number of stars is over then uh, your alignment is done and syncs after that wouldn't do do uh, do thing now what you could do is now switch to the slow to target and you can go to let us say let us say that now i want to take a picture of um, uh, let us say here here's a here's a very nice galaxy that isn't very well known okay it's uh, where is it Okay, 
this one and you see 2903 okay so what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll tell them I want to go there okay let's go here and then by the way there I, co I could go and, and get the details here it's a galaxy in Leo uh, this is the position and then uh, I could go and look up its information not something that I'm going to do now but now that the mount has arrived to this target I want to center it so what I'll do is I'll I'll say slow to target and my accuracy is here 30 arc seconds I'll reduce that to 10 arc seconds with a settle time of uh, one, one uh, second and then I'll say uh, you see these are the three alignment points here and these are the errors again this is simulated in real life they would be more than that so what I'll do is I'll, I'll say capture and solve and this is now you what 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 you do is that the slowing to target is will kick in and then it will take uh, maybe one or two iterations to uh, center the galaxy so again it's the same thing take a picture do a plate solve on it uh, slew from that position that you are in to the position that that this galaxy is at and then repeat this process until you're within the 10 arc seconds that are here so here it is so we're 24 on one axis eight so one axis is already within and you can see that there is um, it repeats the process and uh, again take a picture do plate solving on it uh, see if you're within the error uh, range and if you're not, then slew from where you are to where the object is, and then repeat the process. So it says 24. Now this is the simulator, uh, so I'm not sure if this will work, but in, in actual, uh, in real life, it, it does work. Uh, and like I could go down to 10 arc second accuracy. I didn't try anything below 10 arc second. 10, 10 arc second is would be would be superb. Okay, 23. So I'm not sure if this is going to work. I guess I'll I'll stop it here because usually, within two or three iterations, it would it would get me it will center my the object that I that I want in the uh, in the camera. Uh, so uh, this is the mount model tool and you can use it uh, uh, to align on step and other mounts uh, okay let me know what your comments are thanks